This is a short descriptive video of a Copel Cathlon flip clock, the model 602. This is a US version and um, they're hard to come by uh, um, in the US or in the US version. Uh, so I don't get these very often. If you're interested, uh, don't wait too long and um, you know, seize the moment uh, before someone else does. Um, this clock is in a really good condition. Cosmetically, it's obviously, I mean, it's used, it's not new, it's not mint, but it is in a really good condition. I gave it a, um, a, a clean, I didn't polish the outside because it has a wood grain layer on top of it. If you start polishing that, you will damage the wood grain layer. You won't fully remove it. That is possible, but that's an entirely different story. Um, but you will damage it. So I gave it a clean. That's it. I did. Um, clean and polish the glass. This is actual glass. Um, and I did clean and polish the back side of the clock because that does not have wood grain on it. Um, there's two knobs on the back. Um, one is for setting the time and the day of the week. And the other one is for the date. So setting the time you gently pull the knob out and you kind of push it to one side and then you turn it. There you set the time. When you push it in, you set the day of the week. Not by just pushing it, but pushing it and turning it. Um, clockwise, if you look at it from the front of the clock, if you're looking at it from the back of the clock, it would be anti-clockwise. And then the other knob is, it turns the other way around. You push it and turn it and then you set the date. There you go. As I said, the clock is in a really good condition. Uh, the motor was cleaned and lubricated. All the wiring was replaced. It got a brand new light, resistor for the light. It got a brand new brownish cable which suits the clock um, really well if you ask me. It got a brand new US plug. It was plug and play for the US. And uh, on the back there is a reproduction card. Um, which is exactly the same as the original and that will tell you <coughs> excuse me which knob is for what and how it works and um, I suppose that's it uh, of course the clock will be for sale in my um, Etsy shop or on flipaclock.com and if you have any questions let me know thank you for watching